Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope that you all are well. Today we start our lecture from exercise 2.4, class 10th. Before we start this, please like and subscribe my channel. So, inshallah, the next video will be come to you. So, we start 2.4, which is if alpha beta are the roots of the equation x square plus px plus q, then evaluate. First, we have the given question which is alpha square plus beta square and the roots which are alpha beta. So, equation x square px plus q is equal to 0. So, first we have let alpha beta are the roots of equation. So, we first find sum of the roots and the product of the roots and then we solve this given question. So, sum of root which is equal to minus b by a and minus p. So, product of root which is equal to c by a and which is equal to q by 1. So, product of root and sum of root which we find and the given question which is alpha square plus beta square. So, equal to the formula which is open into alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So, putting the values minus p whole square minus 2 q which is p square minus 2 q. So, alpha square plus beta square. We have alpha square plus beta square which is equal to p square minus 2 q. First we find the sum of the roots and the product of the roots and then we open the formula of a alpha square plus beta square which is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Putting the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta we have p square minus 2 q. The next question we have alpha q beta plus alpha beta q. So first we have again sum of root which is same to this because the given equation will be same. So, sum of root which is minus p and product of root which is q. So, we find this term which is alpha plus alpha q beta plus beta, alpha beta whole q. So, if we common alpha beta we have alpha square plus beta square remaining so alpha beta as it is open the formula of alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta so alpha beta which is equal to q minus p whole square minus 2 q and the required answer which is q p square minus 2q. Some of the roots and the product of the roots we find and then putting this formula we have alpha beta which is common and then alpha square and beta square remaining open the formula of alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta and putting the values of this so we have q p square minus 2q which is required. Then the second part which we have if alpha, beta are the roots of the equation, find the values of So first we find the value of 1 by alpha square beta 1 by alpha beta square which is the given quadratic equation have 4x square 5x plus 6. So we now first we solve this which is taking the LCM but taking the LCM we common 1 by alpha beta so 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square remaining. So 1 by alpha beta LCM which is alpha plus beta so 
this is the first equation so we find sum of the roots which is minus b by a and 5 by 4 and product of root which is c by a which is equal to 6 by 4 so putting the values into the first equation we have alpha beta which is 6 by 4 and alpha plus beta which is minus plus 5 by 4 divide by 6 by 4 4 4 cancel 4 move to upper which is 4 by 6 and 5 by 6 so 20 divided by 36 and the required answer of 1 by alpha square beta plus 1 by alpha beta square is equal to 5 by 9. The next question we have which is alpha square beta plus beta square over alpha. So we have roots which is 4x square minus 5x plus 6. So first we find this which is alpha square beta plus beta square alpha common taking the LCM which is alpha beta so alpha q plus beta q open the formula of alpha q plus beta q so we have this is the first equation we find sum of root which is minus b by a and plus 5 by 4 product of root which is c by a and 6 by 4 so putting in this value we have alpha q plus beta q open the formula which is alpha q plus beta q plus 3 alpha beta alpha plus beta divided by alpha beta so alpha Alpha Q plus beta Q which is 5 by 4 whole Q plus 3, 6 by 4 and 5 by 4 divided by 6 by 4. So 5 Q which is 125 and 64 plus 20. 30 and divide by 16 so 6 by 4 so 125 and 64 we find alpha q plus beta q is equal to alpha plus beta alpha plus beta whole cube which is equal to alpha cube beta cube plus 3 alpha beta alpha plus beta so we find this value this term alpha cube plus beta cube so alpha plus beta which is 5 by 4 whole cube this value as it is plus 3 6 by 4 and 5 by 4 so 125 power 64 is equal to alpha q plus beta q by 3 multiply 6 multiply 5 which is equal to 90 and 16. So 125 minus 90 is equal to alpha q plus beta q. Taking the LCM of this two term we have 64 and 125 minus 360. So alpha, alpha Q plus beta Q we have 250 minus 250 
थर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी फोर एंड एल्फा क्यू प्लस बीटा क्यू तो पुट इन टू द गिवन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी हैव एल्फा क्यू पुटिंग विच इज एल्फा क्यू प्लस बीटा क्यू विच इज माइनस टू थर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी फोर एंड डिवाइड बाई सिक्स बाई फोर सो माइनस टू थर्टी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई फोर विच इज माइनस नाइन्टी फोर नाइन फोर्टी एंड सिक्सटी फोर मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स विच इज थ्री एटी फोर बाय बाय अब कटिंग एंड डिवाइड दिस टू टर्म वी हैव By cutting, we have minus two thirty five divided by ninety six. So this is the part number two, which is solved. The next part number three. This is the last part of this exercise two point four, which is if alpha, beta are the roots of the equation. Exercise two point four. If alpha bit are the roots of the equation l x square m x plus n is equal to zero, then find the value of. So first we could have question which is alpha q beta square, alpha square and beta square. So first we have solved this which is alpha square beta square common. And we have alpha plus beta. Again, we this is the first equation. So sum of the roots, which is minus b by a and minus m by l, product of root which is c by a and which is n by l. Putting in this, we have minus n l whole square and So, <coughs> n square l square and minus m by l, which have minus m n square divided by l cube. So first we have the cube uh, which is given in l l square plus m square plus m which is equal to zero. So we find alpha square beta square common and alpha plus beta sum of the roots of the product of the roots which find and putting the values into the equation number one we have minus m n square and divide by l cube. The last question which have one by alpha square plus one by beta square. Taking the answer which is alpha square beta square and putting Open the formula, which is alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta divided by alpha beta whole square. So sum of the roots, which is five, which is the same, minus m by l whole square minus two n by l n by l whole square m square l square two n L divided by n square over l square. So l square, which is m square minus two n l, and divided by n square over l square. So l square l square cancel out. The required answer of this, which is m square minus two n l divided by n square. So This is the questions of exercise two point four, which we do in this lecture. So I hope that you understand these questions. If you like, please subscribe and like my channel. So inshallah, we see in the next video. Allah Hafiz.